Ten years ago, a child waiting here would have a 50-50 chance of dying. This is the cue for babies showing signs of malaria in Bagamoyo, Tanzania. Waiting mothers knew it was often a death sentence. Yes, before, three children every week would die, often even in their own homes. There was so much malaria in the village, so many deaths. But today, every one of these babies is expected to survive. That's in part because the local health institute helped trial the world's first malaria vaccine. The drug RTSS prevents 40% of the most deadly strains of malaria in toddlers. It's being rolled out to more than 300,000 children in Kenya, Ghana and Malawi for more trials. And already, more vaccines are being tested. Yes, I expect one day soon malaria will be beaten because uh, apart from RTSS, another candidate of malaria vaccine trial is coming up. So because of this effort, against malaria. I hope soon we'll ha we can talk about the elimination. If Akara Health Institute is at the forefront of the science, mosquitoes are studied so closely that researchers must provide fresh arms for them to feed on. They are developing better nets, repellents and vaccines and are part of the world's near tenfold increase in anti-malaria spending. These tiny creatures are Africa's deadliest animal, killing more than 400,000 people every year. It's unlikely we'll ever have one vaccine that could prevent or eradicate all malaria, but testing centers like this are part of a growing movement that could save hundreds of thousands of lives. Lives like that of Masha, now 10 years old. She was given the RTSS vaccine during early tests and has led a life without malaria. Without the vaccine, I wouldn't have a child. The project restored our health. I have a healthy daughter and she is studying well. And there's cause for hope. Malaria was eradicated from America and Europe in the 1930s. Many are starting to ask, why can't it be done again? And make it a disease that Africa's children only meet in history lessons. Nanashbi CGTN, Tanzania.